My name is Danelle Bergström. I am Australian artist. I came here in 2016 for a residency, which proved to be quite life-changing. While I was on Shellshare, every day I'd climb the rocks to sit on the top of the cliff, looking down, facing the ocean, watching the waves like a heartbeat, the heartbeat of the ocean. Being on an island on my own, without the rest of the world through internet and telephones, allowed me to isolate myself and to be with myself, to be with my thoughts. And during that time, I sorted out quite a few things in my life. So that's why the figures became more important in a way to me, because I only had three days where the doors opened while the boat was in place before it was taken out onto the water. But with the light behind, it was so striking, the figures. So this provided me the opportunity to work with the negative space and try to tell the story through the shapes, eliminating the details, eliminating the color. So it's the form that is the most important thing. I can't go back over these things because I was painting the white space, not the black. It wasn't a matter of, um, you can do it again. So there were lots of trials, hundreds of, of little failures until I could just do it once. And that once would be the answer. On the stamp itself, of the boat builders, they're all the boat builders for the Atlanta ship, there's Petta um, standing the first on the left, then I think it's Alan, and then on the right-hand side, you also have two figures down in the, the bow of the ship, which is Petta and Madeleine. In the gutter pair, there are five images merging into eight stamps. They're expressing more of the action and the activities of the boat builders. The image chosen for the postcard is the one of Madeleine hanging on the side of the, of the clinker boat. It is more fun-loving and high-spirited, but still expressing the form of the clinker boat. The first day cover is a, it's a sea view of looking back into the Chocoterret where Alanta was sitting. I chose the early morning light watch how the light changed on the water, depending on the weather, the wind, and eventually came to decide on this particular image for the first day cover. It was such an honor to be offered this commission to create a stamp for the Orland Post. Um, initially, I actually said no, because I didn't think I was quite the most suitable person for the job. But it was Joanna um, who encouraged me to, to try. And it became a real vulgar moment for me. I had to dare myself and challenge myself to do something quite different to what I'm normally doing. So with the challenge comes the fear and you have to overcome that fear of failing um, and just do what you can and do your best.